Sean is testing out the bike, the new bike. She just came for a vacation to visit. My plan for this bike is to convert it into a school. Black and brown and brass. Hey guys, welcome back. Just got back from a round trip uh, to Israel. Uh, take a look. It was uh, it was pretty nice actually. So just take a look over there right now. That's Long Island. And that's Rhode Island. Just like wind therapy, all you need is one hour in the water as water therapy. Meanwhile, 5,000 miles away, change your location, don't change your habits. Maintain your habits. Doing my uh, daily routine, which actually has been uh, not too good at the last uh, few uh, few days with all the rallies and the trips. So trying to get those miles back in. Peace from the Middle East. Yeah, so definitely wherever you are, you know, try to keep your habits uh, for uh, for good and healthy life. So anyway, got back to my Harley uh, Sportster 883, and a big surprise uh, today. Actually, I have my daughter from Israel uh, came back uh, for a visit. So I took her out, you know, to get familiarized with the bike, to feel it. Sean is testing out the bike, the new bike. She just came for a vacation to visit. And now we're doing uh, the initial familiarization, feeling the, uh, the weight of the bike. She's kind of overwhelmed because she was on a 390. I think the Duke 390 before. But she's going to... Uh, a lot smaller. Uh, much smaller. It's like one <laughs> cylinder. But uh, this is the initial steps we're doing. Let me take some pictures so she has for her uh, social media stuff. I'm trying to get used to the weight.
getting the hang of things. What's up, little Pico? You enjoying your sister? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, you wait here. Let, let her. Nice, huh? Second I saw. <laughs> yeah. A little scary. Very okay. Scary yeah. Do it again, one more, then we'll go to the game. No, no. Not stretch it. Okay, later we'll do. Also, I want to show you, uh, I never did actually a walk around uh, to see what the bike uh, looks like and the setup that I have on the bike because the previous owner before me actually bought uh, and installed a lot of nice stuff on it. So let's do a, a short walk around and I'll also show you the box of goodies that he gave me with the bike. It's pretty much uh, all the uh, leftovers and all the things that he originally got with the box. So I'm gonna unbox it right now and for the first time go and see together with you what he has. So let's start with the walk around. 2015 Sportster Iron 883 that he got. It has uh, 2,400 miles on it. Now, from what I've been uh, told and what I've seen, first of all, uh, the uh, most obvious is the seat. He got a seat. I'm not sure uh, who makes this seat. Um, it's pretty nice. Actually, I can see over here. It's made by uh, Mustang. Nice Mustang solo seat. Previous owner installed it. He changed the uh, suspension. As you can see over here, he put a Fox. I measured and actually from a bolt to bolt, it was uh, 14 or 13 and a half. Actually, it was 14 inch. I'm not sure if that's, uh, you know, what the exact, uh, if that's the actual uh, length of it, maybe because it's uh, installed. So it's it's uh, squished down a little bit. So it's a little bit uh, higher. I'll check later on uh, the serial number and what I can see over here, it says Street Performance, Fox, and I see over here it says it has, uh, what is that? Stiff compression. Compression, I'm not sure if that's preload or, and the other side is the same thing. Well, I actually found on the bottom, the next, uh, I guess it also can be, uh, it also can be adjusted is the rebound. So that is the rebound, and the top is the preload or stiffness. I have to read up, a, read a little bit about it. Next is the most actually significant uh, install that he did was the chain conversion. Chain conversion. I'm not sure what kit he used. I do see over here uh, the RSD. So I guess it's Roland Sands design. I'll have to check later on uh, what exactly he did. Uh, but definitely, you can see chain conversion and rear sprocket as well. That's that's the obvious and uh, noticeable thing. Next, he put in a new pipe, a new pipe on. I think these are the Vans and Hines. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, he put a wrap, uh, he wrapped the pipes with this fiberglass uh, for aesthetic reasons, if you ask me, because he wanted to complete his like black and brown and brass colors that you will see very soon. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna tell you at the end exactly what I'm doing with this bike. Uh, next uh, thing that he did actually, you can see is he changed it to, uh, to front controls. I think a stock bike comes uh, mid, mid controls. So he changed it to front controls and he put this brass brass look uh, it's pretty comfortable actually so he did that of course obviously on both sides changed the air intake made uh, the larger air intake high flow I would say uh, made by figure machine if that's the name I'm not too familiar with that and of course obviously for aesthetic and for good luck he put in these uh, kahunas brass kahunas next uh, he took off the front uh, front fender just for aesthetic reasons and he changed he changed the handlebars as you can see he put uh not sure w uh, what height what rise they are but taller taller handlebars swept back a little bit they look like eight inches to, uh eight eight inch rise to me six to eight inch rise and he changed uh the hand grips 
metal, brass, they're very solid, very comfortable. But again, not my cup of tea, both sides. And of course, to complete the look, he put a, a fuel tank cover with this uh, little blessing over there. Uh, again, in, in brass. What else, what else? Oh yeah, he did actually a conversion. Uh, he relocated the, he relocated the Speedo and the Taco, the only gauge that is usually mounted with uh, with the bars over here. He relocated them over here. And that's about it. That's, oh, of course, obviously. Since he put a new pipe in and a new air intake, he installed the Fuel Pack 3 and it's in there. So uh, I'll be using that as well. So that's the, that's the bike that he uh, designed and created for himself. So that's the bike that he designed and he uh, configured. What are my plans with this bike? Well, of course you've seen, uh, I wanted uh, my daughter to, uh, to learn how to ride on it and to enjoy it. But the, one of the reasons that I uh, got this bike and my plan for this bike is to convert it into a scrambler, a tracker. Yup, some ideas that I have are designs like this and like this and like this. I'm not sure exactly uh, how I want it to, to look. I have a, an idea. The, the main purpose is that I'll, I'm planning uh, to be able to take this bike with me on rides with uh, the group. Uh, part of the group that I ride with now are starting to buy uh, adventure bikes. One of the guys bought a Pan America, Glenn bought a KTM, and my other buddies are all in the, in the search for an ADV. And the plan is uh, coming the spring to go on a very, very long and nice uh, adventure trip on our ADVs. And this is gonna be my my ADV. This Harley is gonna go off-road. So some of the things I have planned for it, one of them I was gonna do, and I'm already happy it came with, is actually the uh, the chain conversion kit. It was done already. Second thing is uh, the suspension, the rear suspension, done already. Next will be uh, a seat, I have to get a proper seat and I have to take care of the back fender. Obviously, new tires, different tires. Front uh, front suspension, I have to see what I have over there. I'm probably gonna try and go uh, bigger and taller over there. And obviously, the, the fork. I have to take care of the fork. Now, this project is gonna be uh, pretty much, uh, you know, building the bike the way I like it. But one thing I decided I'm not gonna be doing is I'm not gonna be chopping up the bike. At any stage, this bike uh, will be rideable and I can always convert it back to its original stage. Cause I don't know what I plan uh, in the future, what to do with the bike. If I wanna sell it and I wanna sell it stock, I can always bring it back to stock. So any conversion I do, I'm gonna keep, be keeping my uh, original parts and no cutting and mod modifying the bike that it's uh, unrecoverable. So those are the plans. Let me show you now uh, what I have in the box uh, that I got with the bike. The original seat, how different is it? Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit longer. It's a bit, uh, it's a longer profile. It's still a solo seat, but it's a bit longer. That's one thing. Okay. Okay, that's the, f the fender. Okay, a little bag over here, Harley bag. And this harness, oh, this harness is uh, a little audio system. I think he told me about it, that he, at the time he wanted, he wanted to install uh, some uh, speakers. So I guess that's what this is. What else? Okay, I have the belt guard. And of course the belt itself, it's ripped. Yep, I guess that's the only way off. Then he had, gave me a battery tender. Okay, got some goggles. <laughs> Just for off-roading. 
There's the uh, the fuel pack. Fuel pack three. Is that the three or just a fuel pack? I think it's just a fuel pack. Okay, the front. Wow, that's heavy. The front uh, belt uh, drive, the sprocket that goes on the front. Okay, the two shocks, which are, okay, you can see they're significantly uh, shorter. There's like two inches over there. Two inch difference. That is, okay, that's the cover, I believe. That's the cover for, yeah, for the belt, that whole area. And then obviously there's the, uh, and of course there's the, the back uh, belt, sprocket we'll call it, or drive. And that's it. So pretty much I'm missing uh, with this whole kit is the mid, uh, mid position controls. So that is something I'll have to get. So guys, at this stage, I wanna ask a favor from you. If any one of you uh, knows and has ideas of how to get this project going, my main, the main thing that I'm looking for, the main part that I'm still not sure how to get is the rear controls. I'm looking for rear controls for the bike. Uh, that is something I'm still looking for. I remember there was a company called Hugo Moto, but I think they went out of business. I'm just wondering if any one of you knows how to uh, get hold of them or find uh, their product. And second thing, most important, is I'm trying to think of two pipe or two exhaust systems. One, I've seen uh, SNS that have like a tracker scrambler design, which is two into two really nice uh and the other one is the rolling sand two into one i'm not too crazy about that look but i'm uh still thinking about it so that's it guys for now uh i really can't wait to get this project started hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or any suggestions for this build please let me know this is our project together now that you know where i'm going for the scrambler tracker off-road option if you have ideas let me know down by the comments and suggestions absolutely i'm looking for as much help as i can get uh hope you enjoyed this again appreciate if i get a little of this and that's it for now i'm sandy you watching holy shift till the next video guys peace out